Hi, this is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. Today we have the Cooler Master Silent Pro Gold 1000 Watt Power Supply. It's 80 plus gold certification, and uh, it's also got a five year warranty. NVIDIA Sly Ready, it says. I'm sure it can do crossfire just fine as well. You won't have a problem pushing just about anything on this power supply. The only thing you might run into trouble with is if you run two GeForce 590s, which is the current fastest card right now. Well, it's not current fastest, but it's one of the fastest har uh, cards that has two hey, cards. thanks for viewing thing. this video. If, if you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up below and uh, subscribe above. Hyperpath, Thank it you. Says, I'm not sure what that is, but it's also got a few different things. But uh, let's go to the wattage rating. The uh, 12 volt rail is pushing 82 amps, and it looks like a pretty solid power supply. It's got a 135 millimeter silent fan on it. Uh, it's ready for Intel and AMD, it says. So we'll open it up and see what it looks like. This is one of their top power supplies. I think they only have one better right now, which is the 1,200 watt power supply. Let's try to get this out of here. It's so big. And okay. Looks like it comes with a carrying case. Oh, this looks nice. It comes with a little bag, as you can see, so we'll go ahead and open up that first. In here, it comes with a, wow, a very nice power cord, very big. It's a nice, big, solid, heavy-duty power supply cable, power cord. In here, it looks like we also have some cables. This is a little different. Uh, they're real flimsy. I bet it's great for hiding wires. They don't need to be big, and a lot of other people just use overkill-sized wires. As you can see, this is about the size of a SATA cable. Uh, this plugs into your power supply unit, which gives you power to your Molexes and your SATAs. It also looks like they had the PCI Express connections and the 8-pin connections in here. And in here, they give you four screws to install it. This looks very nice. It's a little different because usually they're so big, or these are light and flimsy, which is kind of nice. So we'll put that over here for now, and we'll get to the power supply. It comes with this, which is probably an instruction manual or something, I guess. Power supply user manual for 600 watt, 700 watt, 800 watt, 900 watt, 1000 watt, and a 1200 watt. They basically get you covered. They show you the uh, description for everything. They also show you what it's like for the power wattage and outings and stuff like that. Uh, like I said earlier, the 12 volt rail is pushing 82 amp. That's very, very good for a 1000 watt power supply. You might get 90 out of something else, but you're not going to get much better than that. And if you do get 90, you're probably going to end up paying for it trying to get to there because it's going to be closer to a 1200 watt power supply. Usually 82 amp is just fine for most people out there. This is a pretty heavy power supply. Move this box. It's a very nice looking power supply. It's big. It's real big. Heavy. Uh, when I say it's big, it actually looks big. It's longer than most, for the most part. It has a big fan. It's gold-plated. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it now. This is going to take a minute to open, so I'm going to go ahead and shut down this video, open it up, and then get back to it. And we're back. So, as I said earlier, uh, I went ahead and shut the video off so I could open it up. And now that we're opened up, as you can see, it has a nice gold plate. It also has a Cooler Master emblem right there. Sticker-wise, it says Silent Pro 1000 watt on the side. It kind of has some of those little uh, stickers on the back to show you when you plug it in. It says Cooler Master. It kind of reminds me of the, uh, I think it's the Corsair power supplies that do that. But as you can see, it uh, shows on the back side the amperage rating, which is 3.3 volt on one of the rails. On the 5 volt rail, you're getting 25 amps. 12 volt, you're getting 82 amps. And that's about it. It says license under the US. It has a warranty sticker really not a whole lot to it. I'd probably say it weighs about maybe 9, 10, maybe all the way up to 11 pounds. I'd say it's in the 9 to 11 range in weight. Uh, it's a very nice looking power supply. It has a nice cable with it. I'll make an update video once it's installed. But first I want to show you this. Uh, it has the power connection plug-ins that I showed you earlier for the Molex and the SATAs and the PCI Express. Right here is your 12 volt, or your 24 pin and your uh, PCI Express connections are on this thing on the main line. So uh, that's about it. That's all there is really to it. We're going to go ahead and install it now and we'll make an update video. Alright, as you can see we have the power supply up and running now. It is powering four 430 video cards, actually four 440 video cards from NVIDIA. We've got the processor fan, 16 gigs of memory, CD-ROM up there. 
Uh, it's powering everything fine right now. There haven't came into any flaws into it yet. I just wanted to post a video on what it looks like when it's installed. That's some of the power adapters coming off of it, and we got the 24 pin plugged in up there and the 8 pin up there. But it looks like a nice power supply, very quiet, running great so far. I'm going to go ahead and test it some more, so be sure to check out the description below and see what it says. Hey, thanks for viewing this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the thumbs up below and subscribe above. Thank you.